full indexing song. The song debuted at the 1980 summer conference to motivate delegates to take, take stronger action on pensions. On the cover of your program is the, uh, the time that we sang this song at the, on the stage of the Orpheum. Uh, teachers held a one-day pension strike in 1971 because retirees were literally starving. I was on that strike. Three of us were actually teaching then along this line, actually participating um, in, in a very fearful way, I must say, it was my very first. The uh, WAC Bennett Social Credit Government used pension funds to build bridges and dams. Rather than leaving the necessary money in the fund, the government promised to index pensions, and since they were, the government would guarantee to pay them. In 1980, SoCred Premier Bill Bennett and Finance Minister Evan Wolf cut our indexing. Many locals pushed for job action, but the executive was split over whether teachers would strike. A letter writing and lobbying campaign was launched. Some locals called for a special rep assembly to force a decision on job action. Mid-year, the BC government employees went, on, uh, went out to rally at the legislature. Many teacher local officers were there. Some locals, tired of waiting for provincial action, decided to act on their own. Surrey teachers walked out at 12 o'clock on November 19, 1980, and rallied at a BC cabinet meeting in Fort Langley. Teachers from Surrey and Burnaby walked out December 4 and rallied at the legislature. A week later, Coquitlam, Langley, New Westminster, and Vancouver Elementary and Secondary walked out, rallied at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre, and marched through downtown to the Vancouver Courthouse. Other locals around the province had their own walkabouts or their own protests. Members were mobilized and the Socreds listened. The result was a new inflation adjustment account, the IAA. Pensions would be indexed as long as there was money in the IAA. The full indexing song was first performed outside a cabinet meeting for an impromptu stage in the bed of a pickup truck. This song told the pension story and pushed for stronger action. And I mentioned the photo in the songbook. Um, there are two people on, in that picture that are no longer with us, Bill Davidson from VSTA and Lynn Hampson from Coquitlam. We're going to sing a shorter version than the one in your book. They took away full indexing, we've been shafted. We want to see a better pensions bill drafted. If they don't restore full inflation protection, Sure that our retirees would live in poverty. They told us we had to trust the government man. They pay when we retire, but put no money in the plan. For 30 years we heard from the actuaries. More money, they said, but no one heard their pleas. Our pension started hurting, and when we were done, we had a one-day pension strike in 71. They took away full indexing, we've been shafted. We want to see a better pension. Full indexing in law. Other unions looked at us and they liked what they saw. Objections came from business and industry. Wolf knew who his backers we He quickly agreed. Wolf well, admitted that inflation could not be stopped. His solution was to see our full indexing dropped. Is it money for the pensions to be paid? But whose fault is it that that investments had been made? They took away full indexing. We even shafted. We want to see a better pension still drafted. If they don't restore full inflation protection, we're going to make them pay at the next election. Finally in Victoria, they marched in thousands strong. A lot of teacher locals even sent some on along. They said, return our indexing or we'll give you the sack. And then the Socrates gave the GEU indexing back. Wolf claimed they made the cut because there was no money. But he bought some for the GEU. Isn't that funny? Teachers wrote letters of dissatisfaction. But to win, we'll have to take the stronger action. They took away full indexing. We the shafted. We want to see a better pension still drafted. We don't restore full inflation protection.
unfunded liability and interest accrued. You don't have to know the jargon to know you're being screwed. Our money went to dams and they set the interest low. And now they claim it's our fault that the fund didn't grow. We put in 7% when every month is through. The government didn't match it, they put in an IOU. They owe 100 million and maybe even more, which is plenty to keep the wolf from our retired teacher's door. We took the wasteful indexing, we were shafted. We want to see a better pension still drafted. If they don't restore full inflation, 